I was in Auschwitz. I built Auschwitz because I arrived there in the first transport. For almost 50 years, I did not speak about it. But nevertheless, throughout that whole time, Auschwitz was present in everything I did. I do not know if I would have ever gone back to Auschwitz if it hadn't been for my stroke. My drawings stem from my illness. During my rehabilitation, I asked to be given a pencil and I started to draw. Drawing became a battle for life. I wanted to get away from the illness. There was no great plan, just an attempt to save myself. Afterwards, a sense of duty came into play. There was a chance to do what I promised my friends in the camp. My friends who died and who, like Stefan Jarac, imposed on me the duty of telling people what had gone on there. In the beginning, there were only a few drawings. But then they started to increase in number, more and more. I don't know why. Maybe the increase drew strength from that mixture of feelings I had, my fighting for my own life, and that sense of duty awakened after all those years. Of my own free will, I shut myself up in the camp once more. This is not an exhibit, nor art, nor images, but words contained in designs. It is a rendering of honor to all those who have vanished in ashes. After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude which no man could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and tongues, the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 9. 